day like this, I figured you'd be tending to your flock. Didn't you say you enjoyed doing so when you needed to think? Because you are going to be rethinking a lot of things over the next few days. You look so charming, like a knight in shining armor. You'll save me from a life of complete boredom. And in turn, I'll save you from a life of poverty. I think that's a worthy exchange, don't you? It's bad luck for the bride to see her spouse on her wedding day. Careful there. You almost made me laugh. There's no such thing as bad luck. If anything, I am bad luck. Everybody who's ever had so much as a conversation with me has met with the most unfortunate circumstances. I hope that doesn't drive you away. Not that you ever had a choice in the matter. <laughs> Look, to you, the flirting seems forced, and that places you on a pedestal slightly above the common man. But the common man are going to eat this up with a great big dessert spoon. They have to. Think of it. Love knows no bounds, nor class as the ruling monarch marries a humble peasant. The ice queen's heart has finally thawed. Think of the game of chess that there is to be had. The public appeal. The alliances that will be formed. The knives that I can twist. Oh, is there anything lovelier than that? This is why the public needs to believe we're really, really, truly in love. For the good of my reign. For the good of the kingdom. You wouldn't want so many thousands to suffer, would you? Your family, your friends, and, God forbid, your sheep. Yeah, I figured. I'm doing my part. Now it's time for you to do yours. When the reception starts, I need you to look the happiest you've ever been. Because you are the happiest you've ever been. Smile. This is the happiest day of your life. Act like it. I had other kings and queens barking up my door, begging me, pleading me, to marry their precious son or darling daughter, their princess, their princesses, dukes, duchesses. But no. No. I picked you. I picked you. I have plucked you and your family and your fucking flock out of poverty. At the very least, act grateful about it. I could have had my pick across five allied countries of suitors. But no. No! No! I picked you. Why? Even I do not know for certain. But you're different somehow. You have that spark that separates you from the dissonance. I haven't found that in anybody else. Anybody else except me. But I haven't searched that hard either. I'm sure I could find another you, but you'll never be able to find another me. And frankly, I'd never let you. So chin up. They're expecting us. And you wouldn't want to leave the cruel queen at the altar, now would you?